There was nearly a, an hour long live stream for the Genshin Impact 1.2 patch update. We're gonna be condensing all of that very powerful and prevalent information you guys are wanting into this video. We're also gonna have all the Primo Jump codes that were given away in that video in this video for you as well. Probably also down in the first pinned comment or the description on top of that. If you're new to the channel, we provide high quality data-driven Genshin Impact character guides as well as content critique. If you wanna see more stuff like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn your notification bell on. If that's not enough for you guys, we've been dared that if we hit 100,000 subscribers, we'll pull for C6 Ganyu and bite the bullet as long as we hit that deadline before the banner comes out. That's right. You could not only get top tier content, but also witness the C6 GOAT, actual GOAT. Anyways, we're going over all the new characters, what order they're coming out in, what sort of new events you guys can be looking forward to, what's going to be really part of that 1.2 update. There's a lot of cool stuff in here as well as quality of life updates. So let's get right into it with this video first and foremost they talked about the characters obviously we knew albedo and gani were coming out but what order and what time period so we have the story quest for these characters right now right after the patch 1.2 version update we're gonna have access to the gani story quest that's also going to lead into we'll get into this part more in the future the event storyline quest that's going to be coming out with this as well which is going to be uh, i do believe it's the chalk prince event storyline quest that's right after the 1.2 update and then you can see Ganyu here coming out mid-January of 2021. I'm kind of covering that up with my head, but that's what it says. Mid-January 2021 is going to be the Ganyu storyline update. So we're going to the Dragon Spy area. It's going to be a very frosty area. This is going to uh, be shown as well, not only in the environment, but there's going to be a new, new mechanic as well. It's going to be affecting not only you, but also with the kinds of monsters that you guys are going to be seeing out there. Very frosty looking monsters. And there's going to be some nice events as well so the dragon spine area looks to be kind of cool you can see the weird one down there the worm rest valley core that's going to be something that plays in part into something that you guys can do mechanically in the region on top of that so with that being said there is going to be some monsters obviously there's going to be some quarter like redesigns of monsters you've already seen right that we've seen these mages before these hilly churl the big dudes they look more like a yeti now than before but they do look very interesting um, and this is going to lead us to the new mechanic, the Sub-Zero Climate. So the Sub-Zero Climate is going to be an effect that's going to kind of get into your character's blood a little bit, make them a little bit chilled out. You can kind of see it right here above the HP bar. Now doing certain things is going to increase this bar and the sheer cold status will accumulate rapidly in Sub-Zero Climate. Dragon Spine is a very cold area. And what's going to happen here is if you do go into these very extremely chilly areas, you're going to start filling up this Sub-Zero Climate Meteor. Now, once the meter reaches full, you're going to start taking damage over time. So this could get in there while you're out exploring, maybe fighting some monsters, doing some uh, world events. Might be getting some creeping chill on you there. And if that fills up, it's going to start damaging you over time. You can also do things to make it fill up even more over time, such as swimming in very cold water but that's not it there's going to be ways to combat that and that's going to be obviously with our friend fire and warmth so you're going to see some areas around right torches uh pillars with lights on them even some fire sealies will be existing in the world and these are going to help warm you up so if you get a lot of that that shiver me timbers uh cold sub zero climate infecting your infecting that bloodstream there's going to be a way to combat that in addition to that there's going to be another way to combat that but that's going to be an item that you guys can work towards in the new area so that's going to be the main new sort of world mechanic sub-zero climbing in the dragon spine area now the next part we want to talk about is the stuff that you can find while exploring dragon spine the first one here is going to be these these icy prisms hidden in the mountains you could maybe use these to open up paths towards the dragon spine summit although they did make an illusion as they were narrating through this part that maybe not all of the ways up to the summit are going to be available yet but you are going to have to use a fire to melt the ice. You're not going to be able to break these points with claymores or any other heavy weapons. This was the biggest point that the least amount of information really was discussed about uh, was this one right here. These hidden little icy nodes in the dragon spine area because it kind of sort of contradicted itself. Some of them will be there, but not all the paths. Maybe they're a way to break up the paths to go up the mountain, but not all of those paths will be opened right away. So. That's going to be the one that's the least amount of information that we have about. But then the next one here, we have the frost bearing tree. So this is going to be very similar to something that we have right now in the Louis, oh my goodness, Liwe or the Mondstadt area here uh, with the sort of uh, reputation system, right? This is going to be the Crimson Agates. And you're going to have to offer them up 
to the frost bearing tree. This is something that you're probably gonna have to work on every single day because there is different levels that you can gain access to, right? As it says here, the warming bottle, this is the thing they talked about before, something that's gonna help you in Dragon's Mine. It's gonna be a gadget that you can gain access to to warm you up if you can't find any fire nearby, right? No torches, anything like that to warm you up and get you ready to go out there and not take that sub-zero damage. The other thing here at level 10 is gonna be a four-star catalyst the frost bear now there's gonna be a several four star weapons that you can gain access to this is where you get the catalyst one so it's gonna be a new weapon I have to take a look at it when it comes out i do believe that all of these weapons kind of have an idea of if you've been looking at any of that uh, leaky info so this is gonna be that weapon cycle that we are, we're all knowing that was kind of coming out but not exactly why this is where you get the catalyst weapon is from the dragon's mind exploration frost bearing tree area so that's where you're gonna be getting that bad boy from the next thing we want to talk about is the teeth that you can gain access to. So the teeth are going to be something that you can find while exploring Dragon's Mine. You're going to be collecting dragon teeth and other materials. And this is where you're going to be getting the Dragon Spine Spear. Now you can see in the picture up above, right, we have this new red ore out there. Dragon Spine Teeth, get the Dragon Spine Spear. It's something else that you can work on there. So that's kind of two things that are kind of out in the world. But there's going to be another thing that we're going to be talking about here. And that is going to be the Entombed city so this has to deal with our boy albedo as he was out exploring storyline wise he found the entomb city and this is another thing that you're gonna have to work on and go in there get into the city look for clues investigate the city and one of the rewards you're gonna be able to get is the materials and plan and the way to get the snow tomb star silver is through the entomb city doing all of the different events and and sort of everything that the entomb city lies in and wait with they didn't say what's exactly in the city but they said that that city is going to be another thing for you guys to sink your teeth into well that's not it that's not it at all there's going to be one final thing here which is going to be the main event quest for this patch 1.2 this is going to do with albedo and it's going to be the chalked prince now the chalk prince here basically the synopsis is you're growing the power of a cursed sword because you're the traveler and you're just that cool and Albedo's own storyline that you'll be able to play when 1.2 comes out, we talked about that earlier, will lead right up into this storyline here. So they don't say it in the video, but the Cursed Sword, you saw it in there. We will talk about that later when we go over all of the stuff that's unlocked. That's gonna be the fourth weapon for you there. They didn't say it explicitly, but the sword that you saw in that cutscene looks exactly the same as the sword um, thumbnail whatever you want to call it the sword design of the final four star weapon that you guys can gain access to so that's going to be something there the chalk prints and now we're going to be moving into some nice new stuff that you guys can be doing they talked about this as well is some quality of life updates for cutscenes. so some cool quality of life updates for cutscenes is when a cutscene's playing right now you have to click through dialogue you're not gonna have to do that anymore you'll be able to set it on auto play dialogue so no more click 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 or accidentally cutting off people while they're talking you're going to be able to get in there. As you can see, it's automatically playing for you up there. So you can just let it play out, open up some popcorn, get in there and watch and the story unfold. Now, speaking of new story elements in the storyline, we're going to be meeting some new characters, obviously. And one of them is another character we've been talking about for a while here. And the character we know the least about, but we do know that it's going to be probably a character sometime in the future. And that's going to be Rosaria. So this is going to be Rosaria. She's in the storyline, you know, you know, probably as like a loose storyline character right she's in there she's one of uh one of barbara's nuns basically she's in the order um so keep that in mind there but she is showing up finally so she's going to be in there now now as far as the chalk prints event and rewards and layout for the structure 4x looks very similar to the meteorite event that we had with official you're gonna be gaining access to different essences there's gonna be three different versions that you can see up above us below and there is going to be an event reward shop so this looks like to be a pretty lengthy-esque event for us to get in there buy some nice nice rewards here obviously you can see talent books in there exp books i was very 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 happy with the amount of rewards that you got from the official event previously and this one probably looks to be setting me up for just as much as much goodiness as i had last time so with all the, the events for the rewards for that event excuse me laid out there we are going to be having access to some new artifacts so the blizzard strayer and the heart of death sets these are officially what they're going to be laid out to be the blizzard set looks amazing here two piece crowd bonus damage plus 15 percent and then the four piece bonus is also extremely interesting especially if you're using a freeze team period 
Uh, if an, uh, an opponent is afflicted by a cryo, you get 20% increased critical hit rate. If the enemy's frozen, an additional critical hit rate of 20% there. So that's a lot. That's 40% crit hit rate. Um, that's crazy. You can do a lot of cool stuff with this team. Maybe even possibly put it on a non-cryo character in a in a freeze team. Maybe for someone like Child or something. But Child does get his own set here. The Heart of Depth with the Hydra bonus. Hydra bonus damage 15%. After using an elemental skill, increases your normal and charge attack damage by 30% for 15 seconds. So, fairly good set. I think the Kraus set is way better, but the Kraus set is insane. The Hydro set looks to be pretty powerful here as well. Increasing your normal and charge attack damage by 30% with Hydro damage. That's pretty powerful. It's pretty all right. I do like that, especially since the, the bonus there is 15 seconds long on the Hydro set. Also extremely powerful. So, there's going to be a lot of cool sets out there and a lot of cool new builds in team compositions based around these sets i do believe especially the blizzard strayer set because 40 percent crit hit rate if you can keep someone nearly frozen you can almost put that on anybody uh so that's gonna be very very powerful there now not only are there going to be new artifacts but they did uh synopsize us the new weapons here so we talked about them before we had the dragon spine spear the snow tuned uh star silver and the frost bear and then here you see the festering desire which looks identical to the weapon that we saw in the opening cutscene as well uh playing throughout the the 1.2 um, patch live stream here so those are gonna be our four different weapons also it does say right here the festering desire can be obtained from the event chalk prints and the dragon so there you go and the blueprints for the other three weapons are obtained through the adventures we already went over there but that's not it we have more stuff so there's gonna be some challenges and mini games and things of of that nature that we can play as well we have the hypostatic symphony lost riches and the marvelous merchandise we've seen one of these before we've seen the marvelous merchandise before but the other ones are kind of new here so the other ones are going to be working in a couple different ways the hypostasis ones you're going to be able to challenge uh, a different tier difficulty of the hypostasis your choice they're going to have new abilities and the harder the the hypostasis that you fight the better your rewards are going to be they didn't say exactly what the rewards were going to be here in this particular event but if you have it you're ready to go get in there do the big daddy damage get the big daddy rewards pretty much is what we're saying there now the next one here is going to be the lost riches and as you can see you have a little sealy following you around and this little sealy is going to direct you towards different treasure chests out in the world and it's a pretty laid back event right first one we're fighting really hard hypostasis bosses this one just kind of running around the world collecting points i think they're called iron coins you'll be picking iron coins up and you'll be accumulating them and they're going to have their own event shop there now the cool thing that you can buy here and the thing that i'm most excited for in said event shop for this event you can be able to buy some cool stuff like heroes ritz and you know mystic enhancement or but you see these little new gadgets the mini sealies the day flower the rose and the uh kurkuma I, I want i don't want to butcher that but i butchered that one um so these ones these are going to be little gadgets and as you saw it during the event you had a little sealy partner following you around these are going to follow you around the world so they're gonna be infinite use gadgets and you're gonna have a little buddy Healy. so it's uh, the official new pet system basically cosmetic pets here in genshin impact and they look pretty neat you know they look pretty cool um look at that little buddy so you're gonna have three different colors following you around in genshin impact that's gonna be probably the main reward as you saw from the different treasure pools that you can put together there you can buy some more you can buy some exp books or you can buy your new pet and that's basically uh, what you're gonna be spending your time and resources on in that event there so you'll be able to empty out that event shop when that event does come out so on top of that uh there should be obviously you're gonna have the uh the the merchant he's coming back once again the marvelous merchandise we've him we've had him before you give him some items you tell him to get lost he gives you a little bit of something something for doing that now that's not it though we have some system optimizations coming in to genshin impact now this is one very nice uh synopsis here for us you're gonna be able to set your friends nicknames so I have a couple of friends as well. So this is kind of helping me out here who just ran randomly named themselves totally something different only in this game. And you probably know who you are out there. Don't leave a comment down below about who you are, but you probably know who you are. You might have a couple of friends like that as well, where you know them as something, but in Genshin Impact, there's something totally different. So I can go in there and I can rename him for me, the person that I, I know him as by that name. And then in addition to that, you can actually chat with people. You don't have to be in co-op. You can have like a, a direct message system to people on your friends list. So that's gonna be a thing that you can do there. They're adding a new uh, camera system. It's gonna be in a gadget called the camera. I do believe it has a K as well uh, there for you. And then the last one that we wanna talk about here before we get into the big one here is the domain result optimization. This is gonna help you out 
It's going to help you avoid all the troll venties too in uh, multiplayer domains. But when you uh, do a domain, you accept your rewards, it's going to go immediately into your inventory. You're not going to have to pick anything up off the ground anymore. So that's a big plus there. And also, since they're not on the ground, you can't have a venti in co op. Elemental burst, everyone's everyone's stuff off the side of the platforms anymore. So that's going to be helpful there. Uh, they didn't say and talk about that, but it's going to prevent that as well. Now, the other one here, the Big Daddy one, you guys might have already heard of. I don't know why I keep saying Big Daddy. I never say that. Anyway, character ascension materials and rewards review here. So this is going to award you some extra, 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 extra pulls. The Acquaint Fates, right? The off banner ones. You don't really want to go and get them, but this is going to give you free Acquaint Fates for leveling characters uh, and breaking their level cap with their ascension. So level 20, 50, and 70 ascensions, those are going to be giving you an Acquaint Fate. So if you want to get some easy Acquaint Fates, level all your characters to 20, and then maybe later on level them all to 50, you get some Acquaint Fates that way. Maybe you get some, uh, some nice four stars. Maybe if you're super lucky, five star with the Acquaint Fate system, that's going to be something there for you guys as well so that's gonna be it the 1.2 patch update for genshin impact the live stream summary we've covered it all all the key points what was your guys's most favorite key point that we talked about today was it the weapons was it the new area was it the characters was it the plethora of quests and events we have coming out for us with 1.2 let me know that down below guys i'll also remember i'll have the primo gem codes listed down in the description as well as probably the pinned comment so you guys have two places to miss it and then complain that you don't see it somehow so that's going to be a thing for us also if you want to watch the full live stream i'll have that down below for you guys as well because it was very well done it was uh, hosted by the voice actors of paimon as well as aether who is the main character the male version the anemo not the anemo traveler but just the traveler in general there for you guys but with that being said if you want to see more stuff coverage on genshin impact Obviously, you know what to do. Subscribe to the channel, turn the notification bell on, or I will disappear into the YouTube universe forever, never to be seen again. Until then, guys, stay safe. I'll see you in the next one.